Uh, welcome to Brewster. This is the Sea Captain's Town. So if you drive along 6A, you're going to see a lot of really beautiful older homes that are maintained from the 1700s, 1800s. If you go down Lower Road, there's a large graveyard there, and uh, many of the largest markers you can see inscribed with Lost at Sea. So uh, being a boater myself and having almost lost my boat right off a of race point a couple of years ago, these people were heading out, right? No navigation, right? No weather forecast. And a lot of times they didn't come home. So it's an amazing town. But it also is a lot like the towns that you live in today, meaning our go town government has become uh, very liberal. Uh, there's a long litany of problems that they're addressing, typically problems you can't see or measure. Uh, it's got me involved in politics in 2017 when I found out my town uh, was going to go sanctuary. And the argument that was given by these this leftist group that was making, it's a bunch of charlatans called uh, Cape Cod Coalition for Safe Communities. Uh, and on their agenda, their objective was to actually restrict our law enforcement to make us safer, which is kind of crazy, right? So they strolled into town. I went out to my Republican town committee. I wasn't involved in politics. And I went in there like uh, Chicken Little, waving my arms. The sanctuary's coming. We got to fight it. Town meeting was coming up. I gave them talking points. I'm like, meet me there. We're going to fight this thing. I had my three-minute script, right? I was in front of the stove, timing it out. It was hard-hitting, a lot of facts and data, the cost of illegal immigration, the crime wave it brings. The town moderator had to stop the meeting twice for the amount of booze going on at the town meeting. That's Brewster's radicalization. So, yeah, you hit a nerve, exactly. I just want to tell you, Shortly after that, our sheriff, our brave sheriff, Jimmy Cummings, Barnstable County Sheriff, started a 287G program for Barnstable County. Every month he posts what kind of people come into his lockup that are here illegally. I just want to share the last three, okay? It typically takes about 100 out of our community. So the liberals were arguing these people are actually more law-abiding than us, right? So here's the last three. 31-year-old male of Slovenia, trafficking controlled substance, methamphetamine, two counts. Conspiracy to violate Controlled Substance Act, two counts. Possession of large capacity weapon, large capacity feeding device, ammunition without FID card and pos possession of firearm without a permit. So you can think about, oh, Adam, you know, what are you getting excited about, Cape Cod? There's no, you know, there's no crime out here. There's no illegal aliens. This happens every month. I got two more I'll share with you. This is the, this is the top three from March. 52-year-old male of Brazil, rape, three counts. 36-year-old male of Bulgaria, rape of child, indecent assault and battery on child under 14. So our sheriff's holding a line now. Uh, our town governments have sold us out. Okay, so it's up to you, right? We're to the point now, it's fight or flight. You're here today because you're fighters, okay? You're here today because you're fighters. All we have left is our constitution, right? Our faith, <laughs> a lot of it, a lot of other stuff's been taken away from us. United Cape Patriots has three founding popular guy. <laughs> Founding principles, okay? We adhere to the U.S. Constitution as originally intended. So when Joe Biden said, hey, <laughs> that's not carved in stone, you know, we will not comply. All right. <laughs> we are conservatives first and party neutral. That was by design. So when we started United Kid Patriots in 2017, the Republican Party in our community was not doing its job. Okay? We've lost 3,000 Republicans over the last decade because they still, to this day, do not provide a conservative voice. Okay? I don't want to blow up the Republican Party. I is one. 
I lead my Brewster Republican Town Committee. We're here to heal it, fix it. Jim Lyons is going to come up after me to talk about how he's going to lead that reboot of the Republican Party because there's no getting around it. They're a legal entity here in Massachusetts. Okay, so when you heard, if you were at the Capitol uh, State House with us yesterday and you heard Shiva talk about he wants to blow up the Republican Party, that's a really bad idea. <laughs> okay, and I think you know that. And lastly, we have a bias for action. So uh, I want to thank all the United Cape Patriots leaders that are here today. Uh, I remind them a lot, uh, we're not a family, we're a team, which means if you don't perform, uh, you're going to go, right? We hold each other accountable. That's one of the ways we outperform the Republican Party in our community. We meet every week. I demand we meet every week. We have events every week. we got to turn up the pace, right? Yep. Because like in any challenge in life, whether it's a wrestling match or a football game, all we need to do is apply a little more pressure than our opposition and we're going to win. It's not impossible, right? We have over 28,000 Republicans just in the Cape and Islands district. There's a lot out there. We need to get them active again. So you'll see us doing things like partnering with Massachusetts military support to do uh, food events every week on Cape. There's three of those going on, and we're up the South Shore and to Randolph and Somerset now. We do that so we can exercise the machine when we're outside of an election cycle, right? So a lot of you know we're out there every weekend. We're doing beach cleanups. We're doing community service. It's important. I'm sharing this with you so you might take this home and consider doing it yourself because you know, it's important we roll this out right across the state. Jim Lyons is going to talk about that, right? So the speakers I have today, and there's a lot of them, and thank you all for coming, are all fighters. They're from different factions. Some are uh, grassroots groups. Some are former candidates. Some are current candidates. Um, I'm excited to have them here. I'm going to hold them to 10 minutes each. Um, but we have our freedoms to defend, okay? Um, we must never apologize for defending our way of life, okay? And that's what the left's trying to do. Now, you probably heard if you're taking flack, you're over the target, right? So we've been censored, right? We've been thrown off social media. Our MailChimp account was canceled for no reason at all. Our contacts lost. It's a constant, 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 they're after us. That's okay, it makes me happy, as a matter of fact. Every time I lose an election, by the way, Jim Lyons knows this, every time I lose an election, I grow stronger. It's a wonderful thing, right? If the rhinos on the Cape don't want a leader, right? <laughs> so be it. Meanwhile, the leaders at United Cape Patriots, they're all held accountable for growth. I don't care how you get there, use these founding principles, that's all I ask, you're empowered. Don't ask me for permission, ask me for help, and go out and do it. But they all have that metric for growth. And I would argue the Republican Party needs to hold themselves accountable as well. You do the right things, you're going to grow. There's plenty of conservatives out here in the state, even in Massachusetts. All right? Okay, now I want to introduce uh, Jim Lyons. Jim Lyons, uh, I started following Jim. Uh, when I used to read the Boston Herald back in 2016 or so when I returned here to the Cape after I retired and uh, He's a hell raiser. He was a hell raiser in Beacon Hill. I became a fan and then Jim somehow wrestled control of the Republican Party um, the Republican Party continues to have a lot of bad actors and saboteurs in there We need to flush them out expose them and they will leave Jim's problem is, remember how I said we're not a family, we're a team, and I just get rid of people who don't perform? His people, they're elected, so it's, it's uh, a little different challenge, right? But I love this guy, I got his back, all right? You wanna go after him? You gotta go over me, all right? <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> 